Hello everybody, it is me Steve and the date and time is on the lower right hand corner of my screen but I am going to talk about this image in this website because I think it's awesome. This is the uh, where I pulled this from. This website gives you the moon phases from like hour to hour snapshots in either the northern or southern hemispheres so you can go out and observe it with a telescope or a camera or whatever you need to do. So here's the moon. It's always oriented north-south or south-north if you're in the southern hemisphere, but you need to compensate for that. But here's the actual Earth-Moon distance at that time for that date. And these numbers here, there's the moon and Earth. They're to scale on that line, and that gives you the Earth distances that the moon is from you at its present position in its orbit because the moon's orbit is not circular. It is elliptical, so it changes. And there's the average there's perihelion and it's aphelion or apogee perigee and apogee sorry my bad down here this is the date and time i selected because this is the date and about the time that we are going to see the iss transit there's the distance in kilometers there's the difference in earth diameters all right um let's see we have the phase how percent full it's going to be that's right there all right, and it's in universal time, six zero six hundred universal time, which is about midnight my time. Uh, we have subsolar and sub Earth here. The uh, positions. I know what subsolar is. I'm not sure what sub Earth is. If anyone knows, let me know. Subsolar is just where the sun's rays will be pointing perpendicular at the surface of any object in space. If you know, assuming it's a sphere. There's the sub-Earth, whatever that means. <laughs> Alright, so we also have, uh, it'll give you the names of the craters that are near the uh, light, uh, day and night tide time side of the moon. There's its position and angle in degrees, decimal. So, yeah, let's see here. January 27th. Sorry, had a brain fart. I wanted to see where I wanted to go next. Alright, what else does this show us? Well, here's where you can find this information is right here and just zoom in on that for a second i will link to the site below and this is a not to scale earth moon diagram it's just to show you the position of the moon relative to the earth at that date and time uh, here's the earth the physical earth and moon are to scale but the distance is not and that's about where i'll be so i will be looking at the moon in this direction at that time now remember, I said this is not to scale the dis Earth Moon distance, all right. And here you can see it's near, it's closest, so it's a super moon. Um, here is apogee, that's where so it traces out the orbit, the moon's eccentric orbit. And once again, see, like I said, we're going to have going to be approaching a f super moon right here because it's getting near uh, perigee. But this is a very great, I love this thing, and it's awesome how they uh, do this. And it's a huge photo, so you can zoom in with a lot of detail. You, you can download the photos and do what you need to do in order to get it um, and save it. And I think that's it.